Hello. This is a tutorial explaining how third person system works. Third person system is composed by a main controller component. This component is called third person system. It controls how character runs abilities. Character can have as many abilities as you want, but the main controller allows run one ability per time. All abilities can ask main controller to run, and controller choose the ability based on some rules. An ability is allowed to run when there is no ability running. Or, this ability that asks to run is set to ignore the current ability running. Any ability asks to run when the method called try enter ability returns true. And it stops running when try exit ability method returns true, or when the animation finishes. All abilities must inherit from third person ability class all abilities have a parameter called abilities to ignore also have unity events for enter ability and exit ability you can set other parameters like run with root motion finish when animation ends camera parameters and more imagine the following situation your main controller is running locomotion ability then, role ability asks to run. System will check abilities to ignore from role ability. If locomotion isn't there, it stops locomotion and runs role ability. Now, imagine you are running role ability. Then, three abilities ask to run locomotion, jump, and fall. System will check each abilities to ignore. Locomotion can't ignore roll ability. So, it blocks locomotion. Character can't jump when is rolling. So, block jump ability too. But fall ability must start if there is no ground bellow. Then, fall ability enters the system and roll ability is stopped. You can easily set abilities to ignore in the inspector. You can use plus and minus buttons to add or remove any ability. That's all for this video. In the next video we are going to create a new ability using C Sharp. Thank you for watching.